Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna mention top 5 best ways to make gil. This is the best ways that work for me. It is, this is by far no way the best way, but what works for me. So number 5 would be gardening stuff. Now there are unique gardening materials that make unique housing stuff and mounts and minions. I also sell the seeds as you can see, mainly Thavnari onion seeds, silked bud seeds. And the silked buds I harvest in the process as well. And then the jute, I use jute to make plush cushion and uh, large woven rugs, these ones right here. So that would be the number 5 best way for me. I have a gardening guide. It is old, but it's still relevant. If you're inter if you have a house and interested in gardening, feel free to check that out. Number four best way to make gear would be the facet crafter and gatherer gear. Not the tools. Avoid the tools. At, at, at least the main hands. Avoid the main hands because they have added relic main hands that is very easy to get. A lot of people are using those, even though they're not as good, but still a lot of people using them focus on the offhand facet tools and the left side here these sell really good I will categorize this as number four best way along with the Neo Ishgardian battle craftable battle gear they make nearly the same amount of gill gill per second when you put time into farming the materials and stuff for both of them, they kind of equalize in a way. But focus on the crafter ones mainly. You get scripts per week. Every week you get scripts, white scripts that you can use to get the materials, one of the materials for the... for both of them. Number three best way to make guild would be Farming Ishgardian scripts, Sky Builder scripts, and selling the dice and mounts. Albino Caracol mount, the new dice they added with. Uh, not these ones, wait. The, these are that are written with green. Sell those. And the mount, just check whichever sells for more and do the math yourself and they sell that one. There's also this other mount, the Uf, Ufi Team Horn. This one is also a mount that regularly sells for 1 million. There's other stuff as well, unique stuff from Ishgard. I don't know how well they sell, you can check them out for yourself. Number 2 best way to make gil would be selling potions and food for raiders especially the food part you can sell grade 2 potions and grade 3 potions but I think the main focus should be on food it sells even more but as you can see grade 3 potions well people buy in queue as well from the telling from the sale history for example strength selling a lot actually and for a really good price right now the downside with this is just you have to actively macro craft like on hours upon hours but it's really very profitable if you do it as for food check the three star food most of them are selling well especially herring pie uh, there was one really good one spell speed directed I think this one is for black mage Direct hit determination, this is very good as well. So just check the market for these foods. Before I move on to number one, there is a very honorable mention if you want to make a guild as well. It is selling Grand Company dailies and quest items for crafter quests. Now I also showed this in my level 1 to 80 crafter guide. I've I made a lot of guild during my leveling process. I made two copies of the Grand Company hand-ins, sold one copy, hand-in one and the other copy and I made a lot of gil on the way during the leveling up process. 
so this is very good it in most servers just check the links out in the video description I will post a link where it tells you for every class all possible grand company handings with for every level range so even as low level crafter this method works really well for making gil and number one best way to make gil would be crafter and gatherer material mainly crafter material now don't sell these yet the way to farm material really easily crafter material I will link in the video description my video about the trick where you just fail the practice recipes on purpose to gain spirit bond really quickly and you can hoard tons of great 8 material that way don't sell them yet as you can see the prices are not that great yet wait for patch 5.3 they will be releasing new craftable crafter and gatherer gear and the uh, material prices will, will skyrocket then that will be your chance to sell them Trust me, this will be the best way to make gil right now. Putting your time and effort into this is the best way. It Right now you won't be making gil in the right now moment with it, but it's a future time investment for future profit. So that would be my top 5 that I think is the best in the current day of FF14 to make gil. Hope you find it helpful. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share the video, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.